All right, Irv, Irv TV driving with Irv. Coming in three, two. Greetings, fellow YouTubers. Irv Lindsay here. Look at that beautiful sky. It is uh, mid June in my world where I'm recording. And uh, I'm driving through Cheviot. And it's been a while since I posted a new video. And since it's such a beautiful day, and I'm already out, I just got back from Home Depot, buying some gardening supplies, and uh, wanted to just share with you guys this beautiful day, this beautiful drive, and share some of, my, some of the thoughts that I have running through my head right now um, about what's going on and, and the importance of family and togetherness. Uh, this is, I've always thought this is a beautiful neighborhood. I'm behind Home Depot, uh, and I'll give you a cross street here in a second. Uh, St. Martin's at the corner. This is the corner of St. Martin's Avenue and Rob Avenue. And I'm pretty sure this is considered Cheviot. If not, we're very close. <laughs> very close. Uh, so, I have to be careful how I word things in this video because... Any little word let slip of any major current event title will probably flag my video for being inappropriate and they will demonetize me and won't let me run commercials, um, which I don't make much of much off of Irv TV anyway. Um, I went like almost two months without seeing my mom in March and April 2020. 2020 has been a tough year. And uh, finally, a couple of, a couple two or three weeks ago, uh, Irv TV has been on a long hiatus. All the plans I had for season five went straight down the tube. And um, I just kind of, at some point, even quit posting uh, recycled videos where I repost reruns because there's very few people have continuously watched Irv TV over the last four years since you know it just passed the official four-year anniversary of Irv TV and uh, there's a few of you out there that recognize these rerun videos that I post but most people haven't seen all 200 of my videos and so if I recycle one video a year that's only 50 videos so I can go easily go two or three years posting reruns <laughs> And that's what I've been doing because I haven't had time, especially with the um, state the world's in, uh, wink, wink, nudge, nudge, and everything going on. Uh, it's been hard for me in my my mind to concentrate on, on everything and even do videos. But I'm trying to get back into it now. By the way, we are now at the corner of Glenmore and Harrison. Oh, I'm not supposed to turn. Um says no turn on red and if I violate a traffic law when I'm doing a driving video you guys usually bark at me so I'll be nice and I'll sit here and wait for the green light um like I always do <laughs> anyway um so I, I I don't know what type of videos I'll be posting probably driving videos I really don't have it in me to go exploring um and whatnot but um I, one thing that I think feels really important right now, and that is family. And guys, you can't change the world. I mean, can you change the world? Yes. We've had spectacularly extraordinary people in world history that prove one person can change the world, but usually you can't change anybody but yourself. That's it. That's all I've got. I've got me, myself, and I. I can't change my wife. I definitely can't change my 15-year-old son. And, uh, <laughs> you know, all, I, all I've got is me, my own, my own beliefs, the thoughts in my own head, my own reactions to what's going on around me. And I don't let myself get overly stressed out about what's going on in the world at any given point in time. Um once again, avoiding talking specifically about social, cultural issues that have been going on 
it's the beginning of the year. There's multiple things. There's lots of stuff to worry about. And I have learned if I am prepared and I've prepared myself, then there's no need to fear. And you, you don't have to worry about everybody and everything else. Because at the end of the day, the only way you can change the world is to change yourself. And if we all change our hearts, and if we all take a closer look at ourselves and our own personal beliefs, then that's how we change the world. That's how we get rid of all of this negative, all these negative things. I, 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 that's it. That's all I've got, guys. I've got me. I can change me. You can change you. And I can try to understand members of my community and understand members of the world in which I live, try to understand their perspectives as much as I can and um, talk about things that bother me and try to understand things that bother them. And I find that's a good way to prevent worries and anxieties about life. I'm now at Glenmore and Work Road. Um, so that's it. That's what I've got for you today. That's my thought. That's my thought for this week. Uh, is is concentrate on yourself. And if all of us, if all of us try to change our hearts and and our thoughts and the things we do and how we treat people that is the only way this really becomes a better world because you can't I, I you can't change anything else that's it but it only works if we all do it, it only works if we all do it uh, so live in the moment live in the now live in the present change the present the present makes for a better future, and as we make a better future, that will ease the pains of the past, because all we have is right now. I can't affect anything else but right now. Myself. That's it. And if you think about it, there's great comfort in that thought right now. Thanks for watching, guys. It's been a little drive through Cheviot down Glenmore. I am now at Glenway. I'm going to bid you guys farewell for now. Everybody enjoy the rest of your week. Keep fighting a good fight, and I will see you in the next video.